Hello everyone! In this video, we'll learn how to auto-populate field values in a form based on user's input. Let's consider the example of an order processing app to understand this functionality. The screen we see now is the order form to collect orders from customers. This is the all orders report that displays the orders collected through the order form. Let's say we want to collect an order from the returning customer. It would take time and effort to fill in complete details of returning customer every time it order is placed. In real-time business scenarios, when a customer's information such as the mobile number is entered, the system will automatically pull out the related information such as name, address, values from their previous order and populate it on the form. Let's see how to make such efficient data entry by creating a workflow to auto-populate. The required fields based on the customer's phone number. To do this, go to the editor and create a workflow to Run on a form event choose the form on which we want to run them. Workflow in our case, let's choose the order form. Choose the workflow to run. When a record is created or edited, the workflow should be triggered on the input of the user. We choose this option as we want the workflow to be executed after the user enters the phone number. So, choose the phone field, give a name and proceed to create the workflow. Click on Add New Action. The Deluge Script Builder will open. We need to define the script here. The logic will be to match the mobile number entered on the phone field with the mobile numbers of the customers in the all orders report. When the entered mobile number matches the mobile number on the report, creator fetches that record and stores in the customer info variable. Then we need to populate the required fields with the fetched values in the order form. First, let's fetch the record of the value we type on the phone field. To do this, Let's use the fetch record task. Declare a variable customer info choose the order form. Choose phone number equals input. Phone number now, the values of the fetch record are stored in the variable customer info. Next, we need to populate the required fields from the fields in the fetch records. In our case, let's populate the name, email, and address fields in the order form. To do this, type input. Name equals customer info dot name. Here we populate the name field with the value of the name field stored in the customer info variable. Let's do the same process to populate the email and address fields as well. Type input. Email equals customer info. Email. Input. Address equals customer info. Address. Click Save. Let's check how this logic works in real time by entering a phone number that's already available on the all orders report. As you can see, the fields are getting auto-populated once we type in the phone number of the customer in the phone field. Great, by using this method you can fetch and auto-populate values on the form base on a user's input. Okay, let's say we have a customer with two different addresses. They may have relocated and placed order from new address. In this case, how will the system identify the recent address and auto-populate it? To address this requirement, we need to modify the workflow in such a way that the fields are populated with the values from the recent order from the customer. Let's get back to the workflow we created earlier. The logic that we need to apply here is to sort the records associated with the phone number in descending order based on added time and update the required fields with the values entered in the previous order. To do this, just add the following code to the first line of the previous code. Type sort by added time desk. This code sorts the field values associated with the phone number based on the latest time added. And the remaining code populates this value into the name, email, and address fields. Click on update. Now, let's check how this logic works by making an entry on the order form with a different address for Lucas. In the report, Lucas has two orders placed with different addresses in it. Let's enter Lucas's phone number to see what happens. As you can see, the address field is populated with the latest address on which Lucas has placed his order. The same logic can be used for scenarios such as auto-populating customer details while booking a hotel room or employee details using the employee ID and a lot more. That's all for this video. We hope you have learned to auto-populate fields based on a user's input. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.